Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, this is ridiculous. Anyways, this video is a video response to Tino J TV's thoughts on something that's going down in Super Smash Bros. right now. You can check it out, annotation above. But what's what's going down right now is Nintendo and the internet. There's like a battle between those two things. They don't combine well. I'll give you that. First, Nintendo went on YouTube and used their like revenue claim thing. They claimed a bunch of YouTube videos from Let's Players all over the world and stuff. And that got resolved, but that was pretty ridiculous. And they had the ad revenue and stuff like that. That issue was solved. But then they went and let Evo 2013 stream Super Smash Bros. Melee, which was also pretty bad. But they ended up getting to stream it. But now, another conflict arises with Nintendo. This game, in my hand, I'm holding one of my favorite games of all time. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Alright? Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This is the problem. In the next Smash Bros. games for Wii U and 3DS, Nintendo is not adding cutscenes or a story mode to the game. Would you want to know why? I'll tell you why. The reason being is that Nintendo has noticed that people have been watching the story mode of this game online. What? Logic, please? I don't know what's going to happen. If that game doesn't have a story mode or cutscenes, it's not going to be the same. I'll give you that much. Super Smash Bros. is an amazing franchise, and the story mode for this game is addicting. It is amazing. I know some people might have found it too easy to unlock characters and stuff, but I thoroughly enjoyed the story mode of the Subspace Mystery, and I loved it. Like, this is a great game. And I feel like we're being punished now because... Just for the fact that people have watched the story mode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl online means that we don't get a story mode in either of the next Smash Bros. games. I don't understand that. I find it ridiculous. I mean, Let's Players, I'm sure, have thought about or, and or Let's Play this game. I know somebody has somewhere. I know it. And people are going to watch the game if they want to. If they're going to go to YouTube to watch a video of this game, just to watch a video, may Say Chugga Conway Let's Plays it. I'm, he didn't, but I'm just saying. Like, if he did, tons of people would watch it because of Chugga Conroy. But, I mean, I like Chugga Conroy. I like his videos. And I just don't understand. Like, people are going to watch it if they want to. And not only that, but people sometimes watch videos to thoroughly just get themselves excited. I mean, Mario Kart 8. I watch trailers of that game and I'm super hyped for it. But I don't understand their logic with that. Because people watch the Super Smash Bros. story mode online denies our rights to have a story mode and or cutscenes in the next Smash Bros. games, I feel like that's a punishment. I mean, the game is amazing. This game is fantastic with story mode and all. The character selection, everything about the game is amazing in my opinion. In the next Smash Bros. games, the trailer when I first saw it was beautiful. And now the games won't have story modes and or cutscenes. I don't get that. That's ridiculous. People buy games for story mode. People buy games to play the story mode. People buy games because somebody told them about the story mode. People love story mode in any game. I know some people may not be fond of it, but I throw I, I am. I love story modes that are in games. For example, Super Mario Galaxy, I love the story to that game. It was amazing. But simply for the fact that people watched this game being played online on YouTube means that we won't get cutscenes in the next games. If people are going to watch a trailer slash let's play of a game to get hyped for it if they don't have it, I understand that. That's ridiculous if Nintendo doesn't. I mean, people watch games to get excited for them. Super Mario 3D World, Donkey Kong Tropical, Fr Tropical Freeze, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, what I'm talking about right now. People are watching those trailers at this very second to get hyped for those games. I mean, I wasn't excited too much for those games coming out, simply because I didn't see the trailer for them. But once I saw them, I'm like, these are amazing. I'm going to keep watching these to get excited for it. And that way, when I get it, I'll be super excited, you know? But because people watch this game online, we don't get a story mode for Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. I don't like that. 
I think it's ridiculous. It's like a punishment because we're excited for things. That's pretty much what it comes down to. If we're excited for a game, I'm going to watch a trailer for it. If I'm excited for Super Smash Bros. for Wii and 3DS, I'm going to watch a trailer for it. If it's already out and I don't have it, I'm going to watch a Let's Play of it to get excited for when I do get it. Um, people are not going to... No. I don't understand. Nintendo can't stop us if we're going to watch a video. They can not They can take them down, but that's ridiculous. But I don't get that. And if we don't have a story mode for the next Smash Bros. games, it's not going to be the same. I can tell you that much. And I don't like that. I want Smash Bros. to be the best that it can possibly be. I don't care if that means delaying it, because 2014 seems way too early to release it, in my opinion. But, I don't know. I really don't know. It's very sad, though, because Nintendo, I feel like they're punishing us for watching YouTube videos. I don't know if you feel the same way, but I don't know. I'm serious. I have no clue what their logic is. And I understand if they don't want to spoil the game or anything and not allow people to upload it online and watch it. But if you don't want to spoil it, don't watch the video. I mean, I know it's probably not about that, but they're punishing us. That's what I feel like. I feel like they're punishing us for watching the story mode of this game. And I don't understand that because I think it's stupid. Why? I'm, I don't, ugh, I don't know. It is stupid to me because there's no point in that. People are going to watch the video if they want to. Nintendo can't stop us from going on YouTube and searching the story mode for this game and watching it. The story mode for this game is fantastic, but I just don't understand where they come in to say, just because you're watching this, we're not going to give you a story mode for the next Smash Bros. games. That isn't fair in my opinion. I feel like we should have a right to watch what we want on YouTube without Nintendo taking away really amazing parts of a game simply for the fact that we're watching the story mode of a game. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts of this of what they're doing though. I really want to know what you guys have to say. So I guess that's it. But thank you guys for watching and let me know your thoughts on this down below and I will talk to you next time.